just as if you take a middle-aged car and you give it a really thorough going over, it becomes functionally a younger car. So similarly here, we would be talking about bona fide rejuvenation, putting people into a situation which was biologically younger than they were before the therapies were applied. And that's why the periodic application of this sort of therapy has the possibility to give very dramatic increases in postponement of age-related ill health and therefore extension of healthy lifespan. So can I say something about this? Yes, of course. I, I'm not uh -huh. disagreeing with Aubrey because I, I also am optimistic about stem cell therapy. But here's a big problem that we face and it's a big gap in our knowledge. You can take a good young cell and put it in an old body and the, the cell remains young but it doesn't behave. Right. And it's because there is something about the aged organism that inhibits that young cell from expressing its youthful characteristics. And we do not know what those processes are. At least we don't know them in enough detail to begin to cogently try to fix that problem. But that's yes, what Julie's Aubrey's basing his Julie's theory on. Julie's absolutely right. Julie's absolutely right. And this, again, um, can be borne out by the analogy with simple man-made machines. So there's a certain level of periodic maintenance that one is required to do to one's car by law, and one does it every year or whatever, but it's not good enough to make the car last significantly beyond its warranty period, so to speak. <laughs> Whereas people who keep vintage cars going, or indeed 50-year-old <laughs> VW bugs or whatever, do so by doing more comprehensive maintenance than that, and thereby getting a very substantial increase in functioning lifespan. So it's all about comprehensiveness. We have to be able to address not only isolated types of damage, like for example, loss of cells that might be um, addressed by using stem cells. We have to address all the various types of damage, molecular and cellular, that accumulate in the body. And we have to do them all at the same time or we won't get a significant benefit.